Nation game. <laughs> Here with Coach Mayab, just uh, off the mat with Colton Schultz making it to the finals. Uh, what does getting a finalist uh, do for this program? Uh, obviously, Colton knows how to win, but yes, he does. He uh, certainly stepped up today and, and put himself in the spot for maybe another gold medal. Yes, it, you know, all along in, in these last few years, he's just he's a remarkable young man. He's a thinking warrior. I think that he, you know, he goes in with a plan and he executes his plan. And uh, he makes great small modifications. Uh, that, that match right there was another example of that. He went in with a plan that we weren't going to overcommit on a, on a hard lock. And uh, he, he, he retreated off of that a couple of times to stay with his plan with that two on one. And at the end of the day, we get him put down. And then uh, obviously, he, he made two nice adjustments and then created a half Nelson and ran the thing. So just hats off to him and all the coaches that's been working with him. Uh, we've always been, been very pleased with him because like you said, he's a winner. He, he comes in with a plan and he executes a plan at a very high level. Right, and he was scoring points and turning people, right? Yes. I mean, that's the kind of thing that you have to have at this level. We've got to create points. We've, we've been working on that. I know that all the directives coming out of Coach Lindland and, and through our program has all been based on uh, creating those points. And, and right now, we're seeing two of those guys have success based on that. Um, the Iranian in the finals, you guys know anything about him? Does it really matter with Colton? Well, right. I mean, Col Colton's devising the plan right now. And, and again, he's got a lot of very good coaches around him that, that constantly gives him feedback and uh, direction. And he's just smart enough that he takes the direction puts it into an internal feedback and then and then works through the process but it's a process that he owns so uh, Alston Nutter man went out oh. there with energy yes. with enthusiasm with uh, risk taking yes and he's and in a bronze medal match yes for he us. is I think that what again all that work that he's put in uh, you know coming through that system that he had as a as a high school aged athlete that uh, made the jump went to NMU and then and then now back with uh, Coach Stelt, I think it's a very good combination. Again, he's getting information from multiple sources. Uh, I know that he's, he was out at camp twice with uh, Coach Lindland and, and our group, but he was also, Coach Bezik has constantly been with him. And, and I think that now uh, you put that back with Coach Stelt, these guys uh, working in tandem and triple like that, I think that he's taken an awful lot of information but now that information, he's using that in this risk-taking part. That's just phenomenal. He now he's putting the puzzle together. So uh, his semifinal was a little tough. He got on the edge a lot, and the Russian was able to score on him. Will he bounce back fine? Uh, oh, you know from that. We think so. I mean, I, you know, he, he 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 was disappointed obviously when he came off that, but immediately got back in the warm-up room and and started looking ahead for tomorrow. So. That's what, I mean, that, we, we've got to rebound off that and we've got to have resilience because the resilience and the belief in what he has is what's led him to this point right now. Those were two great wins that he had today and it was based on him, like you said, taking those risks. He's been a great risk taker and a great opportunist. I mean, he's, he's taken those opportunities that he's created knowing when it was and, and showed great timing to make those, those turn into points. So Cam Caffey gets pulled back in. Yes. Uh, Russian that beat him in the first round powered his way through the finals. Uh, what, what do we want to look from him tomorrow? Uh, obviously, he'll have to win twice to get to a medal Absolutely. match. But uh, to talk about him as, as a potential medalist. Well, again, an intelligent athlete, um, you know, another one of those thinking warriors, uh, very intelligent person, and I, I, th I think a very disciplined athlete. So right now, I mean, he's, he's, he's trained really hard, and I think that uh, what they've done up at uh, Michigan State has worked for him right now. I know that Coach Williams has him in the back right now, and they're working through some stuff for tomorrow. Uh, very active with him in, in, in Boynkin right now. Five more guys tomorrow. Yes. Well, what kind of expectations and hopes do you have for that group? Cause obviously, you know, they're seeing some success with the first group. Right. Coach Halverson took uh, two of them with him to Norway, so they've been in, you know, in this area uh, of, of work for, for about five, six days now. 
And so we feel that they'll be fully acclimated. Um, their weight has been about as good as we've seen it in the last two years. Uh, they've been more disciplined with their with their nutritional areas and and that and I and I hope that we see a, a, a difference in them as well as what we saw with with Austin Nutter because I think part of that is his what his preparation was his weight was about as good as it's been in uh, the past year or so and and we think that uh, there'll be there'll be key issues with those two that uh, that were in Norway with with coach on that so that and then we've got the other three coming in and now it's about you know taking that one match at a time and trying to get those first rounds in and uh, and you know hopefully we can uh, replicate a little bit of today right well we got a bunch of guys to root for for medals tomorrow Colton's already got us one but we yes. want to see the gold yeah, we want to see more absolutely <laughs> all right good so stuff we're excited. Coach. Thank, thank you, you.